Hi, my name's Jane and I was born in 1965, which makes me one of the baby boomers. Um, and I was born in Potters Bar, Hertfordshire, but I was so ashamed of that that I, when I was growing up I used to say that I came from North London. What I'm passionate about most at the moment is um, our canal boat. We have this lovely little narrow boat and I'm absolutely um, insane crazy about it. Um, but it's not so good when you fall in the canal water and freezing cold day in December. That's not so great. I grew up um, in what I thought was a fairly normal house with fairly normal parents and siblings, dog, a car. We used to have annual holidays. And to a lot of people, it might have seemed that I lived quite a privileged life growing up. But there was a problem in my family in that there was this dark secret. And this dark secret, uh, the family was so ashamed about that it got squashed under the bed with all the other monsters and creepy crawlies and things that go bump in the night. And as I grew up as a child and into early adulthood, I kept, um, I kept up this pretense, ignoring and not acknowledging that the abuse that took place was actually real. And what happened was that I was so consumed with anger and self-loathing that I would find ways to self-medicate, find ways to lift my spirits, to feel better because I felt so bad all the time. The biggest challenge for me was to get to that place of love and self-compassion. And this was the biggest challenge for me, but it was also the thing that really needed to change in my life. And I managed to find my way back to love and self-compassion through looking at those monsters that were under the bed, taking them out one by one, addressing the anger, the guilt, the frustration, the hatred, the sadness, and really finding out what it was that they, what purpose they had in my life. And by showing these monsters a bit of love and self-compassion, I was then able to realise that they were part of me, they were a very integral part of me, and find my way back to self-compassion in that way. So this is a practice that I do every day, and I call it my morning, uh, morning conversations with my soul. But if that's something that doesn't resonate with you, you can call it your morning conversations with your emotions. And what I do in this morning writing practice is I spend a bit of time to allow myself to be honest about how I'm feeling, to let any bad feelings out, any negative feelings just come out. So, if, for example, I might start by writing something like, you know, good morning me, I don't know why, but I'm feeling so grumpy today. I've just got no energy and I've got so much to do, that kind of thing. And then I'll take a pause and I allow that inner part of myself, that part of myself where the love and self-compassion resides to respond to whatever I've written. And it might respond with things like, just take it easy, Jane. You're doing such a great job. There's nothing you have to do today. What is it that you can do to lift your mood? What is it that you really enjoy doing? Those kind of things. So if this is a practice that you would like to start incorporating in your life, there's two parts to it. So the first part is just to write, just to allow the words to come out and be honest about how you are feeling. So allow all of those negative emotions to come out, if you're feeling negative emotions, of course. And then just take a pause, because the second part 
is to try and tune into that inner part of yourself, the part where the love and the self-compassion resides, and then just allow that loving part of yourself to respond to those emotions. 